All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So we are tagging with Tiago once again using trains. I wonder how this deck is doing in OCG. I need, I, you know what? Once in a while, I need to look at OCG. I need to see what's up over there. You know? I apologize. That did not go on Do Not Disturb. Actually, you know, it's better that I don't go on Do Not Disturb. I know it's maybe kind of annoying to see those little pop at the bottom, but, you know, uh, I need to hear Tiago type to me on Skype. You know? In case, you know, he's with finding something, he's planning on telling me something that he can't tell me, of course, in the bar at the bottom, because then our opponents would know. So, so I need to hear out for the Skype, so I apologize. And, of course, you guys won't be hearing the little boop boop sounds, because uh, that's on a separate audio track. So, I can just simply just delete that audio track. Upstart. Upstart, I'm starting to realize Upstart's a pretty powerful card. And being able to see that next card definitely helps. Uh, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm actually planning on going to a regionals this upcoming weekend, and uh, I'm gonna be taking to tell her Star Seraph. So I was like, I was like, should I run it up starting here? You know, I was running Mind Crush, and it was clogged. Yeah, I mean, we'll go into more detail about the deck tomorrow in tomorrow's video. But uh, yeah, I was just like, you know what? let me just go ahead and try out Upstart. You know, I was looking at the top decks, and you know, they were running Upstart, and like, hey, you know. You know, the, the per before the Star Seraphs and after the Star Seraphs, they were running, you know, the upstart. So I was like, let me, let me go ahead and see this. Let me, let me go ahead and see the power. So, uh, I'll say, no end, wow, no end phase Icarus attack. As soon as I could have sworn it was going to be, as soon as you set that card, it would be like, alright, Icarus attack, pop those two. But no, no end phase Icarus attack, alright. So obviously Black Wings and something that set one back row. And goldfish. Goldfish summon. So like a rank four deck. Yeah. Summon crane crane draw a card. Exceed to Utopia. Wow. 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 In top deck. Top deck crane crane draw off into the MST. Alright. All fucking right. Now if I get fucking hit with back row so much, I'm gonna fucking piss myself. I'm gonna be so mad because it's so gay. You got that additional draw. Yeah, there's Utopia. Utopia! Too strong! Utopia! Too strong! Yeah, Utopia Lightning is actually really strong. Like, this card will be an absolute staple when it comes out in the TCG. Absolute staple. Holy shit. Everybody gets on our mateys that can boost itself up to 5,000. Like, so fucking powerful. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna be mad as fuck if, it, if, it, if one of those is back row to stop us. It's because he fucking crane crane drew into the fucking MST. That'd be some fucking bullshit. Alright. Uh, this hand's not the greatest. It's playable, it's just not, you know, super awesome chocolate flesh covered good. Not really worried about the Utopia. I'm gonna kill the Blackwing so he can't do anything with it next turn. I'm assuming you don't have an MST, because if you had an MST, you would already played it. You, unless you did get an MST and then you set it and then do it to another MST, in which case, fuck you. Alright, go ahead and get my Night Express. Now. I mean, we're gonna have Dora next turn anyway. Special summon you. I said, is it something to stop me with fucking back row? Because, because uh, he drew the MST, top deck the MST. Like he didn't even top deck the MST. He got the additional draw into the MST. That, that's the crazy thing. I'm not worried about you. If you would have went like you know like Ray then uh, you then you, you know then we would have been in trouble. But. Most time they just go Utopia and slap a lightning on top of it, and you can't use your effect twice. You can only use it once, so I'm not really worried about you right now. Alright, So, pretty much they have to get over this 4000 meter. So they have to use resources to get over Malefic Cyber, which is totally fine. But if you kill it, then Targo can go ahead and summon an Infinity next turn. So. 
So either you kill it and deal with the 4,000, I mean, you don't kill it, deal with the 4,000 meter, or you kill it and deal with an infinity, because Thiago has the play right now. Because he already has the core in the graveyard, and he already has the thing, the, the searcher card in his hand. So you just play the searcher card, search for a, uh, um, like a dry, banish, summon, stop a dragon, summon, bam, no infinity. So, the source is yours. Kind of hoping that you actually take out the, the, the cyber and dragon. Make you use resources. So I wish we had that fucking run of the crease still. It's kind of, it's kind of picked off at that. No, it's fine. You summon your Pinaki. That's fine. So who are you gonna go into? Armor Master? That's how we get it done. <laughs> like, how about just fuck your army monster? How about that? <laughs> you gotta do a little bit more than that to get over this. You have to work harder. I'm, I'm assuming that the the Utopia guy's probably gonna find some way to get over it. Now you don't even have a black wing or a wing beast on the field to even use Icarus attack. See, and that's why you wait till the damage step. It can't be played in depth. So even if he had an Icarus attack, he can't be like, alright, Icarus attack now. Like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So what are you going to do, sir? It's in your turn. Alright. Well, let's just take it a little slow. Not really hurry. Still got 9,600 life points, so. Not fun. Grab that, I'm gonna mad at. I guess next time you go into a Sync 7, you'll go into, um,. Hakujo, I think that's what his name is. You, Gale, that's fine, I don't care. Mm hmm. Yep, that Galax is hugger. I said, if Tiago wants to go off, he can. It's just the only problem is that we have this on the field, so. If this stays on the field, I might be able to go for a Super Chocolate Fudge Covered, so... And everybody knows that everybody loves Super Chocolate Fudge Covered. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's Felgrim right there. Yep, yep, yep. You back. Go to Felgrim. Now if he has an Insta-Fusion... Oh my god. He has an Insta-Fusion. He isn't even normal some of this turn, actually. Oh my god. This might be even more. Yep, that's program. You got the Insta Fusion, Tiago? Can you get a Felgram and Infinity off? Yep, there it is. Ah, so good. <laughs> People are like, oh no, Insta Fusion. No, oh, Noden broke Insta Fusion. Like, Insta Fusion's always been a very powerful card. Getting that addition of summon by paying that, like ever since synchro summoning, you see summoning existed. It's always been a powerful card, very powerful. Back in the day, before them, not really, but now it's like, wow, yeah. Activate trap number one. No. <laughs> and nope. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably make a super chocolate fudge covered on my turn. Might as well, so like, like he can do anything. Unless I decide, unless he doesn't do anything, I might just go ahead and eat him. This infinity. Just to get him off the field. <laughs> this man was like, make it! No! Do it now! You do the job! <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Okay, I guess. So you summon that to summon another Utopia to summon another Lightning, I guess. Not terrible. Damn, but Infinity says no. Yeah, but then you're dead, so now you got that Kage. Now what? <laughs> Wait, I didn't have the crane, did I? No, I didn't. I had the wrong fucking card. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. That's fine. I'll attack first and then I'll do the whole play. Yeah, I got the wrong fucking card. I got two of these. Oh, no, never mind. I can just pitch. I just pitch it. And give me the crane. I was like, oh, I did the wrong fucking attack. But never mind, I'm okay. Like, wow, I placed two Night Express Knights and not to the crane. I'm so fucking bad. <laughs> ah, bad. Oh, tribute. Oh, at least I wasn't bad that time. I would have fucking tributed these two for that. Oh my god, Tego would have fucking murdered me. He would have fucking found me and fucking killed me. Oh, I detached the wrong one. Wow. Because I have to have a fucking Cyber Dragon as an XC material, don't I? Do I? Once turn, you can target one fixed monster. Once per turn. Maybe I don't. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong card. And then I tried to flip up Vandy's on me. Like, uh, how about fuck you? Oh, they quit. Alright. Let's get another going. Be right back. Alright, we're back once again. Ah, <sighs> this man. And tell Tiago, tell me when we're about to start. Because, you know, I'm editing and doing other videos and thumbnails and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and check in and see, you know, how many people are in. And I'll come back and fucking Tiago's going off on his tur first turn. Like, nigga! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Ah, it's fine now. Oh, well, Tiago with that first turn infinity like usual. Slifer, Drago, Del... Dicely? Okay. Are you gonna summon Slifer? That'd be cool. That like that one time we got fucking beat by <laughs> like, Raw. I was like, wow. Okay. So he's gonna use his one preparation of rights already. Don't you think you should have saved that till later in the duel? And then they quit. Okay. Well, be right back. Ah, <sighs> this man, this man right here, Tiago. I tell him uh, because they quit. I tell him like, hey, make sure you go ahead and tell me. Yay, noble knights. Fucking bland ass fucking noble knights. <sighs> the plays are so repetitive. That's I, that. You know what? This is the shortest deck on fucking daily duels. Shortest fucking deck because this is all they do. The same fucking plays. That. That. So we can't target him. If I get an MST, we can uh, MST the Excalibur, then summon Infinity and take them. I don't know, maybe Tagos can figure it out. He can summon a Pleades, Pleades effect, bounce back the Excalibur, and then bounce back the, uh, the Torgus during uh, his partner's turn. 
We could do that. If we could summon a Pleiades. Can't take them with infinity. So I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Like I said, Pleiades might be the best choice. Pleiades fell grand. Pleiades bounced back this. Then your opponent's turn, their partner's turn, bounce back that. Then all of them will go away. Now he's going to infinity. He must have a plan. Oh, you can go into that one guy, uh, full armor. And full armor pops a face up card, right? Then go into, to, uh, yeah, I'm going to full armor. Yeah, touchy on. Then full armor, pop that. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, pop that Excalibur. Doesn't re-equip. Infinity. Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You tried to stop him, but yeah, it was like, nope. <laughs> Damn. Damn, I hope you top back into some good noble man. Shit, <laughs> Holy shit, that's that, that, the thing is that deck's not a deck known to top deck either. Really? I'm not even sure if he runs dry, but I would've got dry, because you could, if this shit hits the fan, or if I even get any plays off, you can banish core summon, you know, you right now you need a light monster to pull off a, a galaxy. Like, you, you can't even use him right now, so. Dry would've been a better choice right now. Of course. Car looks nice. I like, I like how shiny it looks. Does this guy do anything else? Alright, once per turn you can talk it up to two click. Oh, okay. Once per turn, you could touch women. Is that really what it does? I, th I thought it. I'm so confused by this effect. Did he hit the touch with the Oh, he did. Yeah, he touched it. Yeah, okay. So once per turn, you can touch the Xenoturo to target one face up card your opponent controls. Be shy. Okay. I thought that was on summon. My bad. Back row, now what? Full armor, coming in with the power. <laughs> Come on, hurry up! You got two cards in hand, what the fuck could you possibly be thinking about? Okay, shit. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh, I opened up beautifully. An MST. I have to just beautifully. Whew. I have used on Ukraine. Hold on. Right, he does have a break the skill in grave. Fuck. God, break the skill. He's such a dick. Getting delays off anything. All right, now I'm getting a delay. Hmm. The fuck plays Black Horn of Heaven. Fucking 
just back row. Like, goddamn. Blackhorn out of fucking nowhere, like, alright. Thanks for that. Yes. Always get fucking make another one, it's just like, wow, Blackhorn. <laughs> Wait, what does Pinpoint card say? Can't be destroyed by Battle by Cardfax this turn, okay. That couldn't destroy it anyway. Seen the exiton really? Like I won't fucking make Oh yeah, break the scale. Yep, yeah, break the scale. Doesn't matter. Then we'll break the scale anyway. See? Oh, I hope you top deck into a white monster, because if you don't TI those then you fucked up. Another galaxy cyclone? Mm. Is that a dragon? You draw into a light monster? That's like, see? It, it just, if you need to, just run one dry. Dry would have been. You would have had another infinity on the field right now if you had dry. Oh, now you fucking do the dry. See, you got greedy with this. Like, you didn't have any light monsters yet. You grabbed the him. Like, why? Should have grabbed dry. Okay. Everybody's pretty low on resources stuff for me. I'm the one who's up right now. I hate that he has fucking galaxy cyclones. Like, ah, oh, fuck. I hope he doesn't have another black horn, but even if he does, I should be okay. Get you. You got the MST? No? Okay. Get another you. And now is the best time to go ahead and make another door. I'm having another black horn. I'll fucking eat my hat. I'm not even wearing a hat right now. It's like, really? It's like, son of a bitch. Some dragon. Pop. That black horn, though. Ugh, stopping them inherent summons like they're nothing. Powerful card. I'm actually surprised that card never got hit. It's been such a long time since I duel against Double Knights. I don't remember, even remember the combo really. Isn't it just like I'm gonna draw and equip and you got the combo? I think that's it, just I'm gonna draw it. With Merlin helping out your consistency. I 
Mm -hmm. It took you that long to think of doing Rudder. Alright. Is that Rudder Six Remadrot? No. Tortoise. Okay. <sighs> okay. Why do I want to use special monsters? Two novel monsters from your hand that cannot special the monsters. Turn except novel night monsters. Once you turn, you can target three novel night. You must have some play up your sleeve. If you have an 1800 normal monster. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> Whatever the other guy's using, he's just fueling. Just fueling this guy's plays, like, and you fucking see me right now? Even when I'm like, oh, okay, I, I stopped you, but like, no, 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 call the haunted, like, of course, fucking call the haunted. Oh, uh, fucking course. Fucking course, it's called the haunted. <sighs> Stupid. You fucking shitting me with that call of the haunted shit? Are you fucking shitting me? Like, how many times do we have to fucking deal with this fucker? See that coming? I was like, oh, if I stop it, then he's done. Like, nope, call the haunted. Like, motherfucker, like, are you shitting me? God, no knights are so fucking just you newbie knights. <laughs> you have no idea what you have, but if you can pull off anything. There it is. I was like, I hope you have soul charge. I can broke charge. God, he can summon a whole bunch. He can summon the Nova, the Infinity. He just needs to get rid of this fucking uh, Scalibur and he'll be totally fine. Yep, summon you. Summon you, summon you, go into a Pleiades, bounce the Excalibur, go put an Infinity on top of that, eat that up, like, wow. Yep, these two become Pleiades, like I say, he's doing the combo, these two become a Pleiades, bounce back the Excalibur, this Infinity, go ahead and eat your monster, and turn this into a second Infinity, GG. Like, like, no. Whew, that gun is exactly a up. We can't attack, so it's fair. We just have a Pleiades and two fucking Infinities on the field. That's fair, right? Pleiades. Bounce back the Scaliburn. And then this Infinity. Eat. <laughs> we can't attack. It's fair, right? This man has one card. Two cards. 
G fucking G. You go, you got two negates. Like that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's game. We win. GG. <laughs> Not really, but G fucking fucking doing that shit over and over again. Fucking stop. Stop. <laughs> It better be a fucking negate attack. <laughs> okay, that better be a fucking negate attack. That's the only thing that would save you. <laughs> That'd be funny if it had have, have been funny if it was. Alright, that's it. We win. Look at this field. This field is fucking monstrosity. You fucking wake up in the middle of the night screaming when you see this field. Hello? Alright, All right. calm that episode. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, uh, thank you, Tago, for joining me. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and if I've seen you in Lunar's video, if I did record Lunar's video, because I'm not sure if he's on, but it, maybe he'll be on by the time I record, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow using uh, uh, Starry Night. Yep, Starry Night. <laughs> or uh, so Teller Star Seraph. So, if everybody's trying to come up with a name for him, that's what I'm going to call him Starry Night. Alright people, thanks for watching.